to that on your question. Um, looking at the Aussie and the Kiwi dollar here, again, Forex Trading Asia economic calendar. Nothing much happening today. The Chinese is on holiday. China is on holiday for the week. Um, main things to pay attention to, especially for the Aussie and the Kiwi, is the retail sales number from Australia. Looking like it's not going to be fantastic. And as Gim Hong has gone into a lot of detail, the rate decision and the rate statement at this point, the view that we have is that there's not going to be a change in rates. And the statement, probably no real direction, but we're going to, the market is probably going to gather some dovishness, going to gather some um, weakness for the Aussie dollar from this news tomorrow at 11.30 GMT plus 8. Following on from that, actually my attention shifts towards, you know, we've got some news for the US ISM non-manufacturing PMI well into that expansionary phase at about 60. Not too concerned about that. The main thing that I'm focused on is the RBNZ interest rate decision. Hence my question to Gim Hong there. It was 0.25%. Interest rate in New Zealand is currently 0.25%. They're expecting it to go to a 0.5. So they're expecting a 0.25% increase, right? So Gim Hong thinks that they might even go to a 0.75, a 50 basis point increase. So we're looking at anywhere from a 0.5 to a 0.75 interest rate for New Zealand. One thing you're gonna pay attention to is in August, they were also expecting, so it was a 0.25, they were expecting that height at 0 0.5, but then it didn't change. So that's why the question, you know, are we probably anticipating maybe a no action from the RBNZ? At this point, the analysis looks like they will probably do an increase. It's just the size of the increase, but also this might be the point where it's tricky. The increase is probably going to be something that they hike and say that's it, or they hike to possibly look into giving themselves a bit more tools or weapons into the future to manage the speed of the economy. So with that, it might look like a bit of a dovish hike. I'll tell you more about what it means on a dovish hike where we look into the charts slightly later. From there on, we do have the ADP non-farm payrolls on Wednesday. Again, you can see here, as Scott was telling you about the non-farm payrolls, on Friday, this is the private number looking like a good increase from 374K to a 430. So market pretty much, or analysts pretty much expecting a good number from non-farm payrolls. On Thursday, we do have more data to be released. I'm not too concerned about the initial jobless claims here because that's a weekly number. And then on Friday, big news is there first well first friday of the month 8th of october we do have the u.s non-farm payrolls was 235 expected 460 looking like a very good number for the non-farm payrolls here and unemployment rate for the u.s looking to drop from a 5.2 to a 5.1 so looking like an improvement here a lot of seems like a lot of good news seems like a lot of good data for the US to be released at this point. Um, average hourly earnings dropping a little bit from a 0.6 to a 0.4%. But what you will notice is that as Scott was sharing with you on the dollar index, jumping to dollar index first, is that it is sitting at this 94 level. It seems to be quite a good base at 94. Um, Late last week, we saw it test 94.50 and got retraced back down. At this point, I think that we might see it consolidate a little bit over the next couple of days before a possible break upwards as we see the um, possible good news coming from the US, the good data coming from the US, pushing the dollar index up above, up towards the 94. 50 and possibly higher. So that's what Scott was just sharing with you. Putting all that together, 
interpreting all that, what it means on the Aussie US on the H4 time frame here, my anticipation is that we're going to see it move downwards. We're going to see it track lower towards back towards that 92.33 level. But I'm not going to be looking to trade this move. I'm looking for it to break below 92.33 and look for that selling opportunity towards 71.20. So what you're looking for here is maybe about 72.17. 72.17, you're looking at a 30, 40 pip stop loss for a good 80 pip take profit level. You're looking at a one is to, wait, one is to two risk reward ratio towards the downside. But this would also mean that you have to wait for it to drop. You have to wait for that 40 pip move downwards, break that 72.33 level before selling towards that one is to two risk reward ratio. Following on from that, looking at a Kiwi dollar. Kiwi dollar is sitting right in that middle range at 69.33, 69.33. At this point, I think that with the news from the RBNZ to be released midweek, we're possibly going to see this not drop as much. We're going to see this sit across a little bit more. All right, I'll move this a little bit so it's easier to see. Oops. We're going to see it sit across a little bit more before possibly increasing by 0.25. I don't think you'll hit a 50 basis point, either a 0.25 or no action. And from that, we're going to see that weakness drop the New Zealand dollar towards that 68.19 level. So what I'm looking for here is selling opportunities below that 69 level. So below 69, I'll look to sell out of a 40 pip stop loss for a good 80 pip take profit level towards the 68.19 support level. Again, quite a simple one to two risk reward ratio towards the downside. What you'll notice here is also that I've been talking about the New Zealand dollar towards the downside, the Aussie dollar towards the downside. What happens if it doesn't move down if instead of tracking lower, it does bounce up, I would not be looking to trade it up at this point. Same with the Aussie dollar, I would not be looking to trade it up at this point for several reasons. One being that significant downtrend we've already seen on the Aussie dollar and also on the Kiwi dollar. And also with the potentially good news coming from the US later into the week, if it does trade upwards, we could see that reverse happen very quickly. So I'll be very careful, not trade upwards, but I'll be looking for selling opportunities. If it doesn't drop immediately, maybe selling opportunities towards that 7073 resistance if it does track upwards. So Aussie and Kiwi, I'm still looking for selling opportunities over and over and over again.